maybe we should put this into the start. Hey guys, like and subscribe. What? Hi guys, welcome to the Music B&B. My name is Callum and I'm joined by Ben. Say hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. And today we're going to be listening to the Lost Album. These were the um, unreleased demos left over from the Toxicity sessions from System of a Down that were leaked using, I think, LimeWire or whatever, um, Napster. It was probably leaked on at the time. And all the demos that were left over from the Toxicity sessions uh, were leaked out to the world. I've heard them. They've been compiled into a video. Um which has been remastered last year, just titled Toxicity 2, because it was never really given um, anything. But eventually, some of these demos led to the songs that are on Steal This Album, which is basically just B-sides from Toxicity. There are some alternate versions, slightly different versions of the songs you're going to hear, and also some things you've never heard. Boom, but they've got it every time. Yeah, not much different on this one. That's new. That's different, isn't in it? In the background, <laughs> in the background, he's singing the. Yeah, is that, it's, it's not... singing something else. Because as I said, it usually goes, oh. Yeah, because he's actually singing, singing words. He's singing words yeah. right there, yeah. Can you think of the, any reason why they got rid of it? Yeah, I can, yeah. Because you can't hear, it's hard to focus on either one of them when they're the other ones yeah. in the background. Yeah, okay, second one is. Every time, streamline. Oh, I know this one as well. <laughs> And mostly all from Steal This Album. Yeah. Different there, he shouts that, doesn't he? Like, I want that for you! I don't think he does not the start. I'm pretty sure both Darren and Serge sing from the start. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, but the next one... The next one is different. Cherry. I don't know what she called, but it was her strange way of telling me about her. It's giving like um ah oh, <laughs> like red hot chili pepper vibes slightly yeah with the bass going you can you can tell this was an entirely surge song that was kind of like okay this is one of the mad ones we're, yeah. we're not gonna put this one in surge I'm sorry yeah. but this this is like um probably more mad than uh, vicinity of obscenity vicinity is such a good song man that is good it's such a good song it's my favorite bit now. Virginity. so good. Why was that never released? That was a great song. This is the Feta Waves demo, this next one. Different. Yeah. Instead of then, um, that feels like a midnight ride. That's that's what they, yeah. the the final version was. Time feels like a midnight ride. For this mm. was completely different. Waiting for you mm. or something. <laughs> It's whispering in the background as well. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's not yeah. on the that's not on the normal one, is it? The original. No. On the on the not the original, on the album of Mr. Jack. 
Oh, here's the chat. Yeah. yeah. That's different already. Yeah, the well, drums. Quite, it's quite, yeah. I think it's quite early. Yeah. 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 My, my absolute favorite riff is from this song. So powerful and simple. Cow, cow, cow. Oh, cool. <laughs> the, yeah, the counting. It's not in there, yeah, obviously. They would take that out for the. Oh. Yeah, definitely. That's a scream, isn't it? Isn't that a. Oh, in, the, in the album. I think it's just you've got Darren it going up. Like and it just it just makes it bigger. I don't know, man. I think I don't think he scream. screams it. I think it might be. Yeah, Darren. This is like the album where um, Darren starts to basically become another lead singer. Yeah. Um, because in all of these songs, he basically sings over it. Like right. in all these demos, you can hear just Surge and then listen to Steelers' album and Darren's 